Eric DIY here with another great review for you. Tonight we're reviewing the Buttfu Lake GH1 gaming headset. I've had this gaming headset for quite a while, but I really want to review it after using it for months. And that's because I wanted to make sure that I would hold up to the rigors of gaming and also video conferencing. I am a teacher during the regular day and during this epidemic of the coronavirus, I've had to do video conferencing with students and this has served to be an awesome headset. The microphone is really clear. It's really stylish as well. And it's held up to months of abuse. I also do a lot of flight simming, seeing I'm a real world private pilot. That's how I keep my skills sharp when I can't get into a real plane. So it's also worth great for online air traffic control and also keeping the sound to myself when I'm gaming with the, when the kids are asleep or my wife's trying to concentrate. So overall, it's been great. The first thing you should see is it's really, really stylish. This is only lit by a USB adapter, which is the thing that just powers the LED lights on the inside, but it's pretty stylish right there. It also comes in different colors. You can do green, red, or blue. I happened to just get the green because it was the most convenient at the time. So it's got a nice stylish light on the microphone itself. The headphones themselves, I've again been using these for months. You can see that the ear cushions, they're kind of like a, a leather type material, but they've held up quite well. Nothing's ripped, nothing that. And if you notice, this really flexes as well. I mean, I can turn this thing and it's not gonna break. Padding has been quite sufficient. Again, this is like pleather, fake leather but it hasn't ripped or anything it's held up to all the rigors of gaming and video conferencing so the cable connecting it all is also nicely braided very nicely it has controls for microphone you can turn them off and on and also a separate volume switch for the audio and the headphones the thing that's a little quirky to me or it was at first is that it comes with an, a single try connecting eighth inch adapter here and this is what divides it into microphone and headset so you do need this adapter if you're going to use it with this or you need a device that supports the three prong on the eighth inch for microphone and stereo sound but i've used this in the pc just plugging it right into the microphone and the uh, audio out and it's it's done great and that's all i do when i video conference i basically just connect to the side of my work laptop here and we just video conference that way the microphone's very very responsive very very good and clear the headphones are very clear themselves. I'm actually quite surprised at the audio quality of this because it's it's really, really held up and it's been really good. I can listen to music on this and it sounds great. And being a trained musician, I know a thing or two about audio. So quite surprising with the with the budget price on the Butt Fu Lake GH1 headphones. They've been really good. I really, really do recommend them as something you should look into if you're looking for a gaming headset. While I use this for video conferencing and flight simming, you know, online air traffic control, just want you to know that the possibilities are endless. You can use it on your Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo Switch, anything that accepts an eighth inch headphone adapter and an eighth inch microphone, if you're gonna use the microphone. You can use the headphones by themselves as well. You can put it in your iPad or an MP4 player or any type of tablet. You could also use it like I do on my work computer. And I also use it on my gaming setup upstairs for flight sim and gaming in general. So it does really, really well. You could control the lights on and off, which is really nice to see just by plugging or unplugging the USB. So if you don't want it to be bright and you want to have a kind of darkened room, if you will, you can do that while you're gaming. Pros about the Butt Fu Lake GH1 gaming headset. One, indestructible. I've stepped on them. I've left them on the floor. I've done everything with these things and they took a beating and keep on going. Uh, if you notice, most of it's plastic, but they do have steel reinforcement here and the expandable ear cups there, if you will. And they just look really stylish, which is another pro. The microphone is really beefy and it can be put up if you just want to use them as headphones or down. So it's adjustable on the microphone and it's really, really responsive for what I've done. I've actually done voiceover work for some lessons and stuff like that on these headphones. And I've actually did a little bit of singing and recording with singing on things that I had to do for my music classes as well. So it's not like a microphone of like a professional musician, but it definitely does 
the job in a pinch when you're just looking to grab something really fast and record something. Cons about the Butt Fruitic GH1. Well, I mean, the name is a little, little silly. I have to give it that. Um, the snake icon's pretty cool. I would like it if they had lighting so that you could change the colors on it and it wouldn't just be one steady color. So if you wanted to get creative, you can make different colors. But they do give you an option of red, green, or blue. You just have to order the color that you want. The other thing that could be improved is that they could put a little bit more metal in this just to make it a little more stylish, if you will. But again, it's highly durable, so there's no problems with it. And for the price that you pay, I mean, I have to say it's a really nice gaming headset. Overall, if you're looking for an affordable gaming headset, I have to give the Butt for Lake GH1 five stars. It's, it's really, really excellent. The name is the only silly thing on this headset. The headset itself, really, really good quality for what you're paying. Really good audio quality, really good picking up of the microphone for voice and audio quality. So overall, it's a great buy and I do recommend it. If you'd like to purchase your Buttfu Lake GH1 gaming headset, please look for a link in the description below. We'll send you to Amazon where you can purchase your very own. Every single purchase will help support the Eric DIY channel. We appreciate all your support. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. While you're down there, also push on the bell notification icon so that way you'll be notified of future Eric DIY video releases. We appreciate all your support. Thank you and have a great night. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at Eric. 5150 DIY at gmail.com. Have a great day.